Today I want to talk to you about the spam filter in Office 365. Now, as you can see, I'm in the Exchange Admin Center over here. I'm actually going to click on the spam filter. And this is the area where you've got more control over the email. So you can actually control a whole bunch of different things here. Not only do you have the ability to block and allow certain domains and access to come through, you've actually got the ability to block and allow different countries to give you spam. Let's open this up a little bit further. Put this full screen. So in general, there's really not much to say here. It's just whatever it is. You got the ability to tell how um, Exchange uses the junk mail folder. So you can either move the message to the junk mail or you can delete it. Uh, this is basically all the defaults that are turned on automatically. You've got block lists, which is a domain block list, or uh, you can add personal emails in there if you don't want particular emails to send you spam. You've got the allow list as well, which is basically the same thing, uh, except it allows it through. And then you've got international spam. Now, if you enable these, you can basically tell you tells you that you can allow spam through or you can block it. Now, if I enable this, I've got the ability to pick what languages I want spam from. So here we go. We can see all the languages here that is in the Microsoft Office, Exchange Online, spam, international spam. So you can see a whole bunch of uh, languages here. Now, this is pretty cool. So if you want particular languages to be blocked when you're working with spam. Of course, nobody likes spam, but you can essentially block all of these languages to stop it from coming to you. Uh, the other thing here is that you've also got the ability to block certain regions as well. So if you don't want particular countries communicating to you, you can block them off too. And there's a whole bunch of them in here. So I use this a lot to uh, set up my customers with the spam control. So you filter a lot of the stuff out already, and then that way you're not going to get a whole bunch of spam in your mailbox. That's all I wanted to show you today. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching.